I'm Chris Perslow, I'm Managing Director here at ATG UV Technology. We make specialist water treatment equipment for both the UK market and very importantly for export markets. We're experts in UV treatment of, of fluids. This could be treating the London Olympic swimming pool. Basically our equipment is an instant non-chemical kill of bacteria in water and other fluids. The business started in its current ownership in 2002. I'd known of the business for, for many years before that as a, as a supplier and it came an opportunity for me to buy it. Everybody thought I was mad, including my wife, but I just had a hunch that we could do something with this business. And thanks to the great efforts of the team, we uh, moved on to win a Queen's Award, had a delightful day at Buckingham Palace meeting the Queen, accepting the award for export. The impetus for export was really internally led. We realised that we had to do it to, to grow. We knew there was only one route and export was it. There were skills and knowledge areas that we didn't have. We realised we needed help and that's where the bank came in. I met Chris uh, and ATG UV about a couple of years ago now. Um, instantly clicked with Chris, uh, both mountaineers and climbers. Our photo is up in our workshop of me and the summit with one of my colleagues. Simon saw it, recognised it and from then on we got on very well because mountaineers love mountaineers. And then found that um, uh, from there we could really have um, really in-depth conversations about how Chris and ATG uh, want to grow in export markets. We have analysed a lot of the areas um, of international trade with them um, and the different uh, business disciplines. We introduced additional specialists to them and given them the confidence to further grow into new markets. So what NatWest did for us was first of all help us understand what the various mechanisms were, tell us the risks and also then how they could help us through it. At NatWest not only uh, offers export finance to companies, uh, but also we introduce exporters to government agencies uh, and also to freight forwarders uh, and VAT and duty specialists to make sure that they're fully supported along their journey. They would come in and they'd run training seminars for our sales team. They would help us with um, finding banks in the various sort of export countries that we needed to, to deal with from a partnership point of view. Um, so they were very helpful from that training point of view as well as providing the facilities. The biggest challenge is finding the right distributors, um, the ones who are technically competent, financially sound and have the drive to make the penetration into what's often a new market for them. We did our homework and we were in touch with government agencies and we had good contacts with the, it was the UKTI, I think it's the DIT now. We've gone through the embassies and we've asked them to vet potential partners. We've then gone over and, and met them, making sure that the chemistry is right between the two businesses. Our biggest target market going forward is the Far East, but like before we know we need to be prepared and we need to pick the right partners. The disciplines of uh, climbing high peaks, setting goals, the focus, the planning is, is all important and I'm sure that that's uh, what Chris has brought back to his business also. There's two things. First, be prepared, do your homework, and then find the right partners, whether that's the, the right distributors, whether it's the, the right bank, your partners are absolutely critical.